Hey everyone, Techni here with a quick review or unboxing or maybe just an overview look over of the newly released Ducky Frozen Llama Mecha Mini. But hey, what do you guys think about this? It feels kind of weird, right? I'm out of my red, I got blue light over here, got purple lights in the background, just again, kind of fitting the theme right here. It feels good. But again, it just feels a little weird. All right, so as far as in your box, in number one, let's just take a second to appreciate this box. I mean, this thing is just stinking awesome, right? Gonna make a really nice display piece. I don't know, I love a good box and this looks really cool. But whenever you pop it open, of course, you get your ducky dust cover, then you're gonna have your keyboard and your back flap over here, you're gonna get your USB-C cable, which is white for this version. You get your replacement keycaps and then your keycap puller. And it's really cool, because again, all of it's going in line with the Llama Edition. All right, so real quick here, first impression, again, popping it right out the box, what I noticed. Now, I've reviewed many Ducky Minis, even the Mech Mini, but as far as this Llama version, a couple things different. Right on the top of the box right here, if you saw, it has the updated MX switches. I have Cherry MX Silvers right here, but again, it says that's the updated ones with 100 million key presses before it was 50 million. I've never had a key go off on me or a switch go off on me again, but again, it's pretty cool that you get the updated ones right here for 100 million presses. Now, the other thing that really caught my attention right off before or the gorgeous design or anything is that none of these keycaps are shine through. You get one shine through ABS keycap in this pack, but as far as the base keycaps on this guy, it is not shine through. Now, one other thing, and more importantly here, is I didn't receive a manual in my box. I don't know if that was just my box or if that's all of them in here. Now, I have used many other, again, ducky keyboards or one, two minis, or heck, even the Mecha Mini. But the thing about the other boards is all the shortcuts were printed on the keycaps right on their side printed, right? So you kind of knew where to go as far as your shortcuts and, you know, adjustments and stuff. This guy doesn't. Now, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't want my shortcuts printed on this guy either because it just looks crisp and solid like that. But for me, I mean, I don't use a one too many daily. I don't use one ever actually. I use 65% boards and I know the shortcuts right through there. So again, with no manual, no shortcuts on this thing, I didn't know what to do. I honestly had to go back and watch my old review to see which shortcuts here to adjust the RGB. So again, that's just a stinker. If someone's first out getting this keyboard, this is your first Ducky uh, one two Mini right here, you're gonna be pretty lost if, again, yours doesn't come with the manual. But again, you can go check out my other review and I give the shortcuts right there. All right, so anyways, let's get into the keyboard right here and starting off, let's just take a look at it. This thing is stinking gorgeous, right? Just the color flow of the keycaps and everything, the contrast down onto the case, the design right on the back right here, it says Frozen Llama and then Round One. You know, I just noticed right back here, it says Ducky and then Mechanical Keyboards. I didn't know they were really that close right there. So that's, that's pretty cool that they actually collaborated on this. Now, as you can see over here on the back, if you look right on that lip, I got a slight paint chip right there. And then over here by the USB-C connector, I have a little tiny uh, paint chip. So that's kind of weird. I didn't drop mine, ding mine or anything. It came out the box. I plugged it in, adjusted RGB, and that's really it. I haven't even gamed with the thing yet. But again, it's kind of a stinker that I have two little chips right there. That's a real bummer. Now on the bottom, as you can see, you got that same Mecha Mini layout right there, four rubber feet, your dip switch, your little serial number and everything, your little ducky plate right there. Now you do have the pop-up feet as well, but let me tell you again, talking about my chips on the back, as you can see the feet there, we flip them down. And as you can see right there, the paint is starting to chip off right there as well. I'm not too sure what's going on here, why this paint is giving way so easy. But anyways, who cares about that? Let's flip over and look from the top side, but you know what I say, who cares about that? I honestly do care. I mean, that, that's a stinker right down, $130 board and I got some dings in it. I don't know, kind of upsets me, but whatever. Looking at it from the top side right here, absolutely gorge, right? Beautiful keycaps. Again, that color flow is awesome. And again, you do have those replacement keycaps that come in here. They are purple. What's that pretty much gonna do is reverse the blues over to purple on the side right there. But I honestly like it just like this little bit of purple, a little bit of blue, and a little bit of that green. Just a really nice flow. But like I stated, none of the keys are shine through minus that one ABS keycap you get in there. All these are very, very thick PBT keycaps, very solid. And like I stated, I love it like this without the shine through, right? I'm not really into that real disco RGB. I like that underlay. You got that white plate right underneath there so it reflects off there. Get on a nice green or a nice purple on the background. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And again, I love this layout better than some shine through keycaps. Now, one quick thing I wanna point out here, which is probably the only thing I don't like about this keyboard, talking about that underlay as well. If you look right down here, again, of course, we have that floating key design with the Mecha Mini, but the stabilizers are blue and they're like a navy blue, which just, again, just throws off that vibe if you're looking at it from a distance.
distance. I would have liked them to be white or heck, maybe just match one of the colors right here. Again, it just kind of throws me off a little bit. I would have liked that extra little touch. It feels like they covered every single detail with this board. I would have liked that extra mile and just kind of got those stabilizers to match the color theme. But again, that could just be me nitpicking. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Are you okay with that or would you rather than get changed? All right, so as far as the Frozen Llama right here, you can get it in a variety of cherry switches. I have the cherry silvers again. And again, it does have the updated switches with the 100 million key presses. Cherry MX silvers here, 1.2 millimeters of actuation and 45 grams of force. All right, so as you just heard in that sound test right there, very solid sound. Yes, I do still get that slight bell ring. It's not a ting by any means or anything loud or annoying like that. It's just a very low bell ring after you release that key. So quick note talking about the silvers right there with that 1.2 of actuation, can you feel it? Yes, but is it like world changing? No, it's not. But me playing a lot of Call of Duty, I like getting into the action, being really fast paced and everything. I can notice a difference from a Cherry MX Red. But is it like, again, is world changing difference? No, not at all. But you do feel it and it is a fantastic switch. And it's been my main switch these days. So all in all, the Ducky Frozen Llama Mecca right here. I mean, this thing is stinking awesome. You all know I'm a big black, white, and red fan. That's pretty much everything I have, all of my keyboards, black, white, and red, right? So this has really opened me up, right? As far as how gorgeous this is, and it just looks so cool, it's vibrant. I just love it, right? And again, it's opened me up to, you know, wanting to try different colorful boards or vibrant boards, however we want to put it, right? Kind of step out of my comfort zone. And I highly recommend this. I mean, this is something awesome. Even if you're not using it, you set it there on display. It's just incredibly awesome and just original. I really love this. So yes, I 100% recommend this keyboard. It is incredibly awesome. I just love it. And by the way, I do now have affiliated links with mechanical keyboards. Links are down in the description of any uh, boards that I buy from them. But if you ever want to just shop and you can type in a uh, creator code, the Techni, And again, I little, get a little bit of commission for that. Again, just kind of helping out keyboards these reviews going but all in all i highly recommend this board let me know if you got it and what you think about it as well but hey thank you so much for stopping by and watching this quick review or showcase whatever we want to call it here right i hope i was able to help you out if you were looking into getting this board right here and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos hey i hope i catch you in the next one bye now